Welcome to Fit Farm, a show dedicated to creating a better life through fitness and the grappling arts. I'm Joseph Aronson. I'm Jackie Baker. It's time to get jacked. We're back. What's up, everybody? What's uh, up? I'm Joey. I'm Jackie. It's hey. time to get jacked. <laughs> That intro, mm-hmm. we're going to be changing that soon, okay? Uh, we, <laughs> unless you like it. Yeah, unless you get it really... <laughs> I don't know about it, though. I don't think anybody does. Joey I don't he has this fake radio voice on it. Oh, we're in, I'm Joseph Aronson. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Joseph Aronson. No, I'm Jackie Baker. It's time to get jacked. <laughs> Fit one. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. And I'm Joseph Aronson. Ooh. Mm-hmm. Okay. Anyways. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We cut that out. Anyhow, happy Sunday. Monday, I guess, when you're going to be hearing this. Mm-hmm. Uh, we just have two topics we're going to discuss today. Also, we're in the process of getting some some coffee tumblers, some water bottles, and some t-shirts made. So we're going to be having some different giveaways and contests coming up. So just keep mm-hmm. your eyes open yep. on our... Keep, uh, pay attention to our Instagram stories. Yep, yeah. Instagram stories and Facebook. Mm-hmm. Yep, we're going <laughs> to we're gonna have it all going on. Jackie's got some specials coming up soon, too. For, t-shirts uh, in the future. Yep, t-shirts coming for to her. To win. Some, uh, some training, some nutrition advice. She's going to have a lot of different cool packages coming up too. So I guess we'll get into it. The two things we're talking about tonight are uh, the 10 gym commandments that Jackie and myself came up with. A couple things that really grind our gears mm-hmm. that just get us fired up and make us want to punch you in the face and kick you out of the gym wow that's a little angry yeah yeah choke you out and drop a 45 on your head <laughs> you know sometimes right and then uh protein we're going to talk about what is the, the proper amount of protein what is are you eating too much are you eating too little yeah what are the consequences of eating too little yeah what it does to your body and your health yeah what are the consequences of eating too much mm-hmm. we might we might be revisiting some some dairy consequences i don't know <laughs> uh but starting it off We'll go right into the, uh, the the Ten Commandments, okay? One big one for me, especially for newer people that are, are just starting out at the gym, clips or clamps you know, on the end of your bar, mm-hmm. use them. Use them all the time. I know you think you have perfect balance. You think you can take that bar straight down with 135 or two and a quarter on it if you're benching. But I'm telling you, it just takes one little bit of off balance. The right plate goes off. Yeah, especially on bench. I've seen that so many times and somebody's got like 45 on each side and they go up and then they start to fail and one side's a little strong and then all of a sudden the weights fall off. And Yeah, and it's inevitable. The, the first one falls off and you see them trying to yeah. stop the second one. <laughs> it's they, like, oh, yeah, man, that's horrible. It's not happening, dude. It's going. You know, There's mm-hmm. no stopping that second one. So use the clamps. I mean, think about if you're squatting, what, what could happen to someone, right? Oh, yeah. Just yeah. look it up on YouTube. I'm sure you can find some bad videos. Yeah, you could probably find thousands of failed yeah. videos. Just <laughs> use them, dude. They're there. I mean, sometimes at peak, they're a little hard to find, but they're there. Yeah, it's uh, you got to search for them. Yeah, sometimes they're in the weirdest spots, but they, they're they there. Okay? Number two is when in doubt, if you're feeling unsure about any of these lifts, ask for a spot. There yeah. are other people there for Make a sure it's a good spotter, though, because I've seen some pretty bad spotters where people are, like, failing, and their spotter's, like, flexing in the mirror, and they look down like, oh, shoot, i got to help them. Yeah, or you get the super intense ones that are doing all your reps for you. Yeah. Uh, 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 dude, no, if I'm if I'm benching, it doesn't mean you're coming over here <laughs> doing curls. <laughs> I just need you to watch. Yeah. I yeah. got this. Okay. Yeah, he comes up with his sweaty sack and drops it on your forehead. That could All be right. another. That could be another gym commandment. If you're spotting, help yeah. them if they need it. Don't like yeah, take all the weight from them. Spotter, and then pay right? attention. Yeah. Yeah, and and keep your sack off my face. I don't need a tea bag. <laughs> I just need a spot. That's it. Girl. Uh, yeah, I, I know it's probably good for my pores to have your sweaty balls on my forehead, but it's not helping me at all. <laughs> So, yeah, stay off your phone don't when you're Don't fart in their faces either. Yeah, no I guess. feel like you've done that before. No, no, I haven't. You can't do it to your friend Josh at no. all? No. <laughs> I have never. <laughs> I've, that's uh, that's not even part of our gym etiquette is farting. No no one does that at the gym. <laughs> you crop dust everybody. <laughs> okay, we're on this topic again. Let's uh, move on. <laughs> there we go talking about farts. Why, why does it always go there? Hmm. Another one really bothers me. I know it bothers you. No one wants to hear your mating call. Oh, oh my gosh, it's so annoying. Oh yeah. Uh, uh, 
Ugh. Ah, dude, come on. It, we get girls it. do not like that. The only reason why you're getting attention from girls is because they think you're stupid. Yeah, you look ridiculous. That's not nice, but... Yeah, but I mean, okay, if I see you over there with weight that you're doing comfortably, why aren't you screaming? Why are you making all that noise? I can understand when you're like a power lifter and you're doing like a huge lift and you let out, you know, let out something. But oh, yeah. like sometimes it's like, like I saw some guy a long time ago on a tricep push down with like hardly any weight and he was screaming. I, cr- I could hear him across the whole entire gym. Everybody was staring at him. Yep. And he was doing like the small little move. I got the I got a guy I've seen doing bicep curls. He's huge. He's a big, strong guy, 30 pounds, bicep curls, and he's, eh, eh, the whole time. Like, what are you <laughs> doing, dude? Like, are you lifting? Are you, uh, is something going on in your pants right now? Like, what? what's happening? Like, <laughs> the only time you should be making any kind of, like, heavy exertion noises, if you're, you know, if you're going for, like, a, a max or something, that just happens, you know? Yeah, sometimes it happens on accident. And- yeah, sometimes a fart squeaks out of it. <laughs> that, at that time... <laughs> Anything's go. I mean, you might <laughs> shit your pants and then finish the lift and say, "All right, I'm done." <laughs> you know. Uh-huh. But yeah, keep keep the mating calls to yourself. There, I promise nobody likes them. Nobody's digging that. Another one. Good hygiene, please practice oh, good hygiene. Oh man, yeah. Don't come in there smelling like butthole. When in doubt, just put deodorant on. Yeah, there's a couple guys in there in the in a local gym. I don't know if you've smell them but they smell like straight up onion oh my gosh yeah and then they then they leave their stench on all the machines they don't clean it so then the workers have to come around spraying this disinfecting stuff all over the machines because they smell so bad don't be that person that's embarrassing this should be a two-parter huh practice your good hygiene and then if you are nasty or even just super sweaty wipe that machine out yeah right don't leave a pool of Onion flavored sweat Ugh. on the seat or on the <laughs> or on the curls, and they'll wear like like sh- uh, sleeveless shirts or tank tops, and they're just sweaty, hairy armpits right there, Goosh, with <laughs> <laughs> with the onion stench yeah. on the. Uh, and they're just killing it, sweating, and they're they're the same ones that are uh, uh, making. Yeah, the usually it's the it's the same. Like a lot of these, <laughs> it's so funny when we were talking about these earlier, looking at the list. There's some people that pretty much do. All of these things. Yeah, just you, kick them out. Yeah, I, I mean. I'm sorry uh, if you're that guy or girl. But yeah, um, yeah, I'm sorry if you're that guy. You gotta change your ways. Yeah, because these gyms, I mean, they're losing, they're losing members over this. That you might not realize it, but they're going there. And if they're grossed out, they're gonna. Especially leave. like, I don't know if I should say the name of this gym, but most no, people probably yeah. listening would know. But yeah, like some girls come and they see these guys that are like crazy, making all this noise, and and it's like they they. Uh, what you call it? Cancel their membership because they're afraid of these scary men. Also, another thing to stop scaring people away is you can work on covering yourself up, wearing more than a um than your speedo or some. You know, if you're a guy, you, you don't need to wear your singlet to the gym. No. You know, or or Have your junk hang out. Yeah, you don't need that. And if you're There's a girl, a couple of guys like that, and it's like, ugh. Yeah, and if you're a woman. You don't work out in just a sports bra. Like, this isn't... It's not like it's 90 degrees out or something. I can understand if you're outside running or something when it's hot. But it's like, you're in a gym. You can wear a t-shirt. Yeah, you could cover up. I mean, and people, you're proud of how you look. And we understand that. But you're you're kind of in a public place that, you know, germs are spreading too. All the sweat from your back or your, your stomach, or, you know, the area that's not covered, mm-hmm. those germs are spreading on every machine that you sit on. Like besides the fact that even if you are in shape, not everybody wants to see that. You know, we're we're coming there to exercise. We're not coming to look at you yeah. half naked on the machines. I don't know. Some some people might be there for that. There's, well, there's <laughs> but yeah, most there's, people aren't. There's creepy people there for yeah. sure. But I mean, we could add we we could add another one to the to the list. Don't be a creep. That actually, a lot of those. Yeah, that was kind of hmm. I think the next one. Is very close to that. Like like we said, if you're wearing headphones or if you see someone wearing headphones, leave them alone. They're probably wearing headphones so they don't have to talk to you. Yeah. Guys, that goes for you. If there's a girl wearing headphones, it's probably because she doesn't want to talk to anybody. Especially if she gives you like a dirty look first and then she like angrily takes her headphone out to hear you. Yes. That's a big red flag. That is a sign and of I someone. I see that all the time. These yeah. guys trying to flirt with these girls and they're like, give them this look. It's like, okay, dude, just stop. That's a sign of someone who's super, super impatient with you right now, right? Like, dude, yeah. I've had enough. Okay, I'm, look at, I'm taking my headphone off again. 
What the hell do you want? Oh, haha, ha, funny. Head, headphone going back in. Yeah. Please don't look at me again. <laughs> yeah. And guys, girls aren't at the gym to meet a, a guy. They're there to work out. If you see him sitting upstairs, you know, or upstairs, not upstairs, but if you see him sitting by like the front desk or you see him just hanging out, then maybe you can talk to them. But if you see someone, a female working out, She's usually there Especially to work when, out. Especially when they're in the middle of their set. I see that all the time, too. That's like the worst. Yeah, and, and don't invite yourself to spot them and start touching them. That's that's assault. <laughs> like That's not okay. Don't follow them around and call them baby, either. I've had that happen. Yeah, yeah, don't. Oh, yeah, baby. Dude, no, <laughs> that's not working on anyone. No. Ugh. And, and please, stop trying to sing and rap, okay? With oh, your head- my God. Mm-hmm. Put your headphones on. Oh, in the in the Bluetooth thing drives me crazy too. There's a couple people there with the Bluetooth in the whole time, and they're talking, and you turn around, like you're talking to me. Oh, okay, never mind. You're on the <laughs> yeah. phone, and it always throws me off. That happens at the grocery store too, though. So not just there, but yeah, yeah. The rapping, you're not a rapper, dude. That was someone else's songs. Just stop. Um, I don't get that one. I feel like that just. I feel like people that do that just want attention. Like, it yeah, just screams. Look at me. Probably, I feel like this whole episode is about like hating people, but we're not. We don't. We're hate not hating people, people. We're just no. We're giving you actually something you know stuff to look out for because if we've worked at gyms, so we yeah. know you know we know the complaints and we've seen a lot. So we've worked at gyms. We've worked out at tons of different gyms all all over. I mean, we've been all over the the country pretty much. And anytime we go on a vacation somewhere, we go to a gym there. You know, so we're we're not just talking about one gym. We're talking about everywhere. Yeah. We have a gym. Right here at at our house, and same thing. We're just we're talking about things we've seen everywhere. Oh, the next one, number eight, is actually one that you witnessed today. I think it was what? on your Instagram story. What's that? Oh, yeah. Are people leaving their weights on machines. Mm-hmm. And it's always like the biggest, strongest guy that's there, and he leaves all his weights, and I see some girl... Or like me today, I had to go up and take all of his weights off so I could use it. It's like, thanks, dude, you're so strong, but you can't take your weights off. Yeah, please, rack and unrack your weights. When you're done with them, put them back because not the next person coming up after you might not be able to lift that 300-something pounds that you have on. They might hardly be able to lift a 45-pound plate, and now they got to take four or five of them yeah. off. So, yeah, please, just, you know, if, if you're strong enough to pick them up during a set, you're strong enough to unrack them. Unless, heaven forbid... You hurt yourself mid-set and the ambulance came and yeah. had to get you out. That's like the only <laughs> time you're allowed to not put your weights back, okay? <laughs> I like this next one. Do not walk around naked in the locker rooms, okay? <laughs> and if you if you do, just put a towel on, okay? Uh, I don't care about how your day was when you're standing there naked, dude, a blow dry in your balls or whatever. <laughs> I've, I, I've seen this. It's all real life, real gym life. I've heard about people like shaving their balls in the locker room and blow drying them in the locker room and I see tons of people like naked people walking in the locker room and then they set their bare butts on the seats it's like what the heck yeah my hand was just there you know like, yeah oh man are you are you eating you're eating like a, a power bar or something a, a quest bar and you set it down for oh. a second someone's bare ass was just mm, there nasty yeah, so if you could, I get it. There's showers there, and, and you're changing clothes and all that, but wear a towel. That's different when you're changing clothes and stuff. But it's like you Yeah, know. but if you're walking around the locker room. Yeah, you don't you have to walk your, around and sit on the seats. and Have your towel on. Just wear a towel around, your, around you, and that's it. And then when you're getting dressed, you take the towel off, you put your undergarments on, and then take your time. Like, I don't... Why I don't get it why people will go out of their way, stand there ass naked yeah, to, to walk to the other end of the locker room to ask you how your day was. <laughs> really, dude, this couldn't wait. <laughs> you know. And now it's so awkward for me because I have to stare right in your eyes yeah. the whole time. I don't I don't want to accidentally look down. Like, yeah, it was great. It was so good. I gotta go. You know. Can yeah. you please you drop heaven forbid you drop something while they're oh, standing no. right there. You gotta, you drop your phone. You can't pick it up till he leaves. You're all get it for you. <laughs> yeah. Oh no no. Let me get it. He'll turn around and get it for you. <laughs> Whoops. Yeah. Okay. Last one. Keep the partying to a minimum, and I'm talking about the, your chalk party. Okay. Let Let's keep that contained. You know, I, I get it. It helps with grip. Although a lot of people use straps now, so it's a little cleaner. But 
the chalk helps, and I'm not against it. But when I come in, it looks like Charlie Sheen was just partying there. You know, you come in the wreck, <laughs> and there's there's dust everywhere. It oh, looks like man. it just snowed. You know? Yeah, it's overkill. It just you know, goes on your hands, not on the floor. Mm-hmm. Right, easy peasy. And those are the ten. I think good. that's about it, right? I could probably add to it, but it's yeah. probably good for now. Yeah, that's that's the the ten that we agreed on any earlier. But if you have any more, let us know. Or if you can relate, yeah, comment on Facebook or Instagram. Let us know. Yeah, I mean, as we're talking, more of them keep popping yeah. up. Yeah, right? so, I mean, there's probably a million. But if you guys have some, please send them to us. I want to hear your favorite pet peeves. Maybe it's like two people that work at the gyms talking shit about about stuff. <laughs> Maybe that's your pet peeve. <laughs> That'd be funny. Yeah. <laughs> so do you want to switch it up? Talking about bro etiquette, we can talk about bro teen. Bro teen. Yeah. So, bro teen, aka protein. How important is it? How much of it do you need? How much is too much? And what happens when you have too much? Well, um, there's not the research is actually pretty limited on uh, the negatives of overconsumption. Really? Yeah, I guess yeah. so. I, I, uh, I, I was digging a little deeper actually over the weekend, and uh, I only came up with a few things, you know, for if, if you're typically a healthy person, there's only a few small things that, that can happen from overconsumption. Uh, it could be a little added stress on the kidneys. Um and this is even more so if you already have like a kidney disease, but for like I said, the average healthy person, there's stress on the kidneys all the time, anyways. Yeah. You know, so it's not gonna really, eh, it's not gonna do a whole lot. Uh, constipation, bloat, which you know I I've suffered from that sometimes. <laughs> constipation, I don't though. I, I don't have no problem no, there. No. But uh, and then dehydration. You know, you can it's. Basically, you need more water the more protein you're taking in. I mean, that's yeah. So it's easier to get dehydrated. But if you're some, if you're a meathead that's taking in a bunch of protein, you probably already know how important water is. Mm-hmm. We don't need to talk about that. But Jackie, actually, you probably have uh, some experience with. Yeah, I used to eat crazy amounts of protein because I thought that's you know you need tons of protein to build muscle. I probably ate three times of what I should have been eating, and. uh yeah, I just felt like crap. I was so tired all the time. I mean, I was still eating a lot of carbs and a lot of fat, but my protein was crazy high, and I felt horrible, so sluggish. Do you wonder why, too? You're like, man, I'm yeah. eating all this protein. I should have so much energy. I was energy. like, I am so healthy and all this, and I just I felt like crap all the time, and I couldn't figure it out. Where, what what was the main source of the protein? Was it powders, or was it everything? It was everything. I ate, I ate eggs in the morning. I ate chicken chicken or turkey or beef i eat probably all three of those every single day almost not beef but definitely chicken and turkey every single day and then shakes too chicken right. turkey eggs shakes protein bars every single day yeah and, and that's i was actually, eating way over 200 grams protein which is yeah, way and, too high and that's almost double right what, yeah what you're eating now isn't it triple almost you're yeah not, probably triple you're eating about 60 or 70 now no or maybe no? a little more than that no more okay so and also, you know, the 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 kind of the studies or, or the research that's out so far on that is like the protein you're getting from the the bars or from the the shakes, mm-hmm. you know, doesn't even compare as far as quality wise to what you're getting yeah. from just animal proteins, you yeah. know, from the meat you're eating. But uh, that's kind of the most important part about about the protein that you're consuming is the quality of it. So if you can get something that's you know that actually has amino acids in it because that uh, a good looking amino acid profile which uh in like we were saying most of the animal proteins are going to be a lot yeah. more balanced than unfortunately than plant proteins even which kind of stinks because you know you can still go vegan and you can still hit those numbers fine but it's just yeah it is a little harder but you don't need as much animal protein as you think i mean you can get i don't know eat a little bit of chicken one day and then get the rest from plant you know just get a little bit of amino acids and then um, switch to plant stuff, you know? Yep. Yeah, no, I'm not saying you have to overdo it. I'm just saying you do need some, it, it helps to have some quality. Uh, but I would protein. say you should definitely make sure that it's organic because the stuff that's non-organic has so much 
bad stuff in it, hormones and everything that screw up your body. So if you're not buying organic, maybe you could cut back on the the meat consumption and buy organic. Mm-hmm. If you're worried about price, just cut yeah, back just a little, buy organic, and then get the rest from plants. Chances are, if you're uh, if you're a big time, you know, lifter, you're probably over consuming anyway. Mm-hmm. So just cut back yeah. on your serving size, and you'll probably end up because spending that, the same amount yeah, of money. Yeah, and that extra protein. Better. People don't realize, but that extra protein that you're eating does not do anything. It does not do anything extra. You're not going to gain extra muscle from the extra protein. It absolutely does nothing. And your body can't use it. Yep. Yeah. So you're basically what you're doing is you're wasting, you know, anything over a certain amount, which we're going to get to, is just being wasted. Yeah. I mean, and these animals, unless you're buying um, humanely raised, most of these animals are being tortured for their whole lives. So you could cut back on the meat and save some animals. Mm-hmm. So um, like we said in the dairy episode, <laughs> Jack, Jackie is very uh, passionate about what they do to these animals. Well, She's if you don't a- know what they do, look it up because <laughs> it'll make you sick to your stomach. Buy humanely raised, buy organic. I can't I can't watch that kind of stuff. It makes me sick to my stomach. So It's really messed I'll up. I'll just hear, uh, listen to you say it, and that's as far as I'm going. Now, uh Kind of talk about some of the uh, the the problems that can happen from overconsumption. Maybe we should touch on a couple things from the underconsumption side, mm-hmm. and then maybe we'll meet them in the middle after that. That makes that that's probably good, right? Sure. <laughs> sure. Yeah. Okay. So, you know, usually if you're not getting enough protein or enough quality protein with your you know the essential amino acids. The initial effect that's going to have on you is muscle wasting and increasing weakness. That you know, <laughs> when when all the bros say, "Oh, you're losing your gains, bro," because you didn't have that protein. Yeah. Like that's kind of where they get it, but they don't they don't really understand that. Like no. just because I didn't have 400 grams of protein today, I'm not <laughs> losing my gains. Like this is on the low side. Like this is people taking in like less than 50 grams of protein mm-hmm. a day. You know, also your your immune system will stop producing all those extra antibodies you can lose your hair because of all the protein and amino acids that are yeah, that I've going seen to like that a lot of vegans have that their hair is so thin mm-hmm. yep i'm not hitting on vegans i think vegans are awesome but yeah because what happens is the body looks to itself to meet its need for those amino acids that you're getting normally from yeah the animal protein so if it can't get them from the food it's going to break down its own muscle to get those amino acids it's going to break down its own systems you know to pull back mm-hmm. so your hair and nails are probably going to suffer first right yeah because they're you know they're salvageable you can still live okay without your hair and nails growing but then after that you're getting into your immune system and mm-hmm. everything else so protein is very important don't i don't want anyone thinking it's not when we because we started with saying overconsumption could be bad i'd probably if i had to pick one i'd probably overconsume still versus under consume but yeah i don't know i'm <laughs> I overconsumed and I felt horrible and I underconsumed and I felt pretty good. So. <laughs> I, I don't think you ever went under like 50 grams a day, did you? I went days without meat. Yeah, but less than 50 grams? No, I always yeah. kept my protein up, but I just didn't have meat. Yeah, no, I, I'm. this is this is like the extreme, like less than 50 grams oh, of protein Oh, okay, a day. yeah. Like this is, yeah, because the, then you're talking both, both are extremes, mm-hmm. I mean... I'd rather sort of under eat or, or be in the middle, you know, and the middle yeah. is actually a pretty big area. Mm-hmm. We're talking like, you know, basically if, if let's we just give the magical number away, 0. 0.6 grams to one gram per body weight. So for Jackie being about 130 pounds, that would be 80 grams of protein. Yeah, roughly uh, 80, up, 90. Yeah, up to 130. That's all you need. Me, Yeah. 200 pounds would be... Uh, one, come on, Joey, 120 to 200. That's, 120 doesn't seem like much. Right? No, I could eat not that at all. Two meals. Yeah. And that's considered enough. So, yeah, that's, uh, that's your guys' magic number and you're welcome. You can do some, some Googling on that if you want. Too. You're welcome. It's, yeah. <laughs> you're welcome. <laughs> Enjoy, suckers. Um, so yeah, and we're not trying to scare you away. We just want you guys informed and, you know, un- understanding of this. Mm-hmm. So. I hear a lot of people say that meat is so expensive too. So like we, like I said earlier, just you can always just eat a little bit of meat every day to get those amino acids and then get the rest from plants. And it's actually pretty easy. They make 
plant protein. You can add beans into things, peas, um, any almond butter, peanut butter. They have that has protein. Egg whites, eggs. Those are pretty simple, you know. Yes, and uh, a lot of like whey protein and supplements like that. Not good. I don't. Yeah. I don't think they're necessary. And this is just one man's opinion. I mean, and you can do your own research on that too, but. Eating the food, the real whole food, is going to be a thousand times better for yeah. you than buying it in a powder with mm -hmm. artificial or natural flavors, whatever. Either way, is not on the healthy side, uh -uh. right? I haven't I, had whey protein in like I don't know a couple of years. I, I feel yeah, like. or I, maybe no. I think I had it like a month after I had Josie, and that was it. That's over a year ago. Yes, I've had uh, like the plant protein, but that's all I'll do now. Yeah, we have uh, we probably have a protein here that's expired now. <laughs> yeah, that never happens. Yeah, you know, so just give unheard. it away. Yeah, maybe we'll have a, a protein <laughs> giveaway. Anybody Used listening? protein giveaway. Half full whey protein. That's it's, probably uh, expired. <laughs> it's optimum nutrition, gold standard, possibly expired chocolate <laughs> whey protein. If anybody wants it, hit us up, man. Shoot us a message. I'll ship it out to you. Just pay shipping. You can have the protein, <laughs> whatever's left in there for free. Hey, oh, and touching back one more thing on this protein consumption. Um, the more active you are, you know, the more you will require, but still going over one gram per one pound of body weight, not necessary. I don't care how active you are. That's just the way it is, man. That's the way your body yeah, works. Yeah, and like when you overeat carbs or fat, your body stores it and it can use it. But if you overeat protein, you, it doesn't store it. It does nothing. Yep, exactly. So that's your breakdown on protein, bro bean. <laughs> Did you <laughs> Did you have anything else you wanted to touch on tonight while we're out here? I don't know. I think that was about it. It was kind of a fast one. Yeah. Oh, we're still about 30 minutes, so. Oh, that's not bad then. Uh, Jack, like I said, Jackie's going to be having uh, a few specials popping up soon, so keep your eyes out. Uh, we're going to have some merchandise coming up, some giveaways, so just keep your eyes out on that as well. Watch our Instagram stories for the giveaways. Yep. Yeah. Watch out. Watch our Instagram stories. Uh, pay attention to the polls too, because your votes are gonna, you know, dictate kind of what we get. You know, I put a poll out today, I think, asking if I should order the coffee tumblers or the water bottles first. And for some reason, every single person is like 50/50 on it still. So it's kind of like, uh, do you, are you like <laughs> trying to say just get yeah. both, or what are you trying to do here? You know, the problem is we have to order like 50 at a time. So I don't mm -hmm. really want to order 100 now because I, I yeah. can't get one or the other, but we might have to do that. So anyways, yeah, look out for us on Instagram at monkey Joe BJJ. And then the fit farm podcast is at fit farm podcast on Instagram, fit farm, Illinois on Facebook and Joseph Aronson on Facebook. And I'm J A C F I T one on Instagram and just Jackie Baker on Facebook. Sweet. All right. And we're out of here. See ya. Bye bye. <laughs>